Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a book tag video inspired from Andrew from Andrew's Wizardly Reads. I told him that even though he did not tag me, I will go ahead and do this tag. And I think this will be an interesting one. Now, before getting into the tag, I hope my makeup and camera lighting is fine because a lot of my friends complain that I looked ghastly uh, and ghostly uh, in my previous videos couple of videos because of too much lighting and too much makeup on my face and uh, if you know me personally you know that I know jack shit about makeup. So one of my friends Shachina she helped me in toning down the makeup and also now I have better lighting so I hope I look brown enough for a brown name rather than ghastly white. That's something I wanted to tell my friends who were giving me feedback. Thanks a lot for that now I hope the video looks better. So without further ado, let's get into the book tag. If this is your first time here, let me introduce myself. My name is Angela, your own bookaholic brown name. Uh, in this channel, we talk about books, books and all things books. So if you love reading books, if you love talking about books and if you love to be updated about what's happening in the bookish world, please do subscribe to my channel and also like and share my videos. This book tag has 50 prompts, so let's get into it without wasting any more time. The first prompt is hardback or paperback, paperback, because I love a nice floppy kind of page you know I can lie down and you know hold it the way I want it without being hurt and constantly attacked by the edges of the hardback but if it's a nice looking cover and also it's a popular non-fiction like for example I have Michelle Obama's Becoming and I wanted it in hardback because it's a nice book to display uh, or if I have a coffee table in future I would like to keep it on the coffee table so if for those I would like uh, hardback but generally for reading for convenience reason I love a good paperback top number two ebooks or physical copies physical copies for sure anytime but if it's a heavy book like for example Malazan which I'm reading now heavy in the sense of vocabulary I would love to have ebook because it's easy to look up the meaning of the book mark it highlight uh, you know it for later use so in that way I sometimes prefer ebooks and I was very skeptical before getting into ebooks like Kindle and stuff like that um, but my friend said hey you read a lot so why don't you try it so I bought a Kindle and I was so surprised to find out that my reading speed is much faster on ebooks rather than while using physical books I don't know the reason I don't know why it happens but it's just that way with me that I read a lot faster when it's an ebook prop number three second hand or new copies new copies for sure i don't know i'm very finicky about how my books are maintained uh, you don't know what has been spilled on the pages uh, i don't want to touch anything that i don't want to touch so definitely new copies prop number four audiobooks or nah. i love to listen to crime thrillers on audiobooks but never a fantasy or a science fiction actually i listen to three body problem uh, on the script and actually I really liked it uh, but I think I would have loved it better if I read the physical book because it was such a content heavy book uh, there was so much science explained so I thought it would have been much better if I read the physical book rather than listen to it so I'm kind of midway I would not dismiss audiobooks uh, yet uh, I still love to listen to crime thrillers or uh, rather than reading them so yeah that's my answer Anyway, prompt number five, do you cover by? No, I don't. I go through reviews on Goodreads or nowadays on Booktube. Uh, I talk to my friends who read, uh, which are very few uh, in their life. So based on those reviews or recommendations is what I pick up my book, not based on covers. I never do that. Prompt number six, your favorite cover that you own. The uh, favorite cover, I think currently I like Black Leopard and Red Wolf. Uh, that's a cover I like. I actually love the cover of um, King Scar uh, by Lee Bardugo. I think that's it. I don't 
I don't have any favorite covers. How pathetic is that? But these are the two uh, that I can think of. Let's race through these questions. Uh, your favorite, uh, your least favorite cover. Oh, there are many. In fact, there are many. I, I need variety. I need creativity. I need uniqueness uh, in each cover. And I think sometimes uh, the publishers become too lazy and just hire anybody they can get their hands on to do the uh, covers. And I don't, I hate lazy covers. So yeah, I don't have one particular, I have many. And because I'm not sitting in my home library right now, I cannot pick one and maybe I can. Wait. Okay, here I am back. So I picked up this one. Neil Gandhi. Never bear. I mean it's such a wonderful, magical, quirky, whimsical book, but you don't get that from this cover, do you? So yeah, they could have done much better with this cover. I, I maybe there are better versions of the same book um, you know that you have or in the market, but this is what I got and I was quite disappointed. This is what, not what you expect from a Neil Gaiman book. <laughs> so yeah, that's my answer for a cover I don't like. Uh, first book you ever read? That's a very difficult question because as far as I can remember, I've always been reading and if you had seen my, what was that, uh, new to YouTube uh, uh, video, um, you know that, uh, you know, I, uh, I have read my dad's books, which were kind of, uh, uh, you know, over the head for me at that time when I was growing up. But still, I love the feeling of books and the smell of books. So I always used to spend time uh, near his bookshelves reading books like Das Kapital by Karl Marx, which I didn't understand at all. But I just loved the feeling of reading. So I just can't pick up one book. But... Uh, if you really push me to it, um, I will show you. It's, it's actually quite uh, an old book. It's been used so much, so it's kind of run down. But let me show that to you. Sorry, I have to get up and go and come because it was a rapid fire. I thought that these are questions that I can just answer off the top of my head, but apparently not so. So this is a book. Um, that I can remember that I read, you know, kind of during my adolescent. So this is a book in uh, Malayalam, which is Shastra Kautudam, means uh, curiosity in science. That's what it's called. Shastram uh, in Malayalam means uh, science and Kautudam means uh, curiosity. So Shastra Kautudam. And you can see how badly damaged this book is. The spine cover is gone. And if I open it here, uh, so there are different sections. One is uh, about electronics, then Bhautika uh, Shastra physics. But this was one of my favorite picture in the book. Oops, it's coming off. So uh, uh, this is a picture that describes all the different eras geological eras but basically this is a science book as you can understand so there are questions and then answer to it means uh, do the continents travel or move uh, and this is a page with you know explanations on that so this is the earliest book that i can recall that i have been obsessed about uh, and this was published by the kerala shastra sahitya parishad so uh, there is this Parishad, uh, this kind of an institute or a society uh, and which is for Shastram and Sahityam. Shastram is again, like I said, science and Sahityam is literature. So Kerala is my uh, home state in India and uh, this is Kerala Shastra Sahitya Parishad. So science and literature society or institute something so it's published by them. So I took some time here because I all of a sudden felt so nostalgic and nice about it. Prompt number nine, the last book you finished. Malazan, Book of the Fallen, book number one, Gardens of the Moon. And I loved it. In case you wondered. Prompt number ten, the last series you finished. 
I finished. I didn't finish any series. I'm yet to finish. <laughs> Many. Uh, I can't. I just can't recall. I think it's been a long time since I finished a series. Prop number eleven. Last book you bought. You think that would be the Jasmine Throne? Oh no no no. Wait. I ordered book three of Malaz and I received it two days ago, which is Memories of Ice. But I'm still book reading book two now. Prop number twelve. What's your favorite genre? Currently, fantasy. Thirteen. What's your favorite book in that genre? Currently, Malazan. Fourteen. What genre do you never reach for? I hate romance. I mean, it's not like that. Don't misunderstand me. I love romance in real life, but I don't like investing my time reading romance books. Do you read poetry? No, I don't. Uh, and uh, I always loved. Malayalam poetry, so Malayalam is my mother tongue, so I love to read uh, poetry in Malayalam and um, I don't know, for some reason I was more attracted to that, but never towards English poetry, so no, I don't read poetry. Favorite popular science book? Favorite popular science book is God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. That's a book that has made a lot of impact in my life, in my journey towards rationalism and atheism. So, uh, and skepticism, basically. And I really, really loved the book. That's one of those popular science books that I have read multiple times. So, yeah. God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. Popular middle grade book. I haven't read many middle grade books. I think uh, uh, Wishes by V.E. Shaw would be an answer. But when I picked up the book, I didn't know whether that was a middle grade book. So that would be my answer or maybe Harry Potter also. What's your favorite bookish item? I don't have any collection of bookish items yet. Maybe I will buy in the future. So then I might have a favorite. But currently, none. What if current bookmark i don't have a bookmark i sometimes dog ear the pages go ahead judge me but i do that i don't have a bookmark because i tend to misplace them all the time so i don't use bookmarks what's the strangest object you have used as a bookmark i don't use bookmarks so i don't have an answer for that <laughs> why am i even thinking Book jackets or now? I love book jackets, but when I'm reading, I take them off because otherwise it, they will be damaged. But I love a good book jacket. Who's your fictional boyfriend? Currently, it is Cass Brecker from Six of Crows. Oh, no, no, no. Currently, it's Darkling from Six of Crows. <laughs> okay, you make your pick because clearly I'm confused and I just cannot pick one of them, so... Yeah, both of them. Why not? Favorite book couple? I like Jude and Willem from A Little Life. They are such an understanding pair. The love between them are, is so deep rooted and so grounded and realistic. And at the same time, uh, Willem, the way Willem accepts jude the way he is despite all that jude makes others around him go through willem puts up with all that willem understands him willem uh, is there for jude anytime and every time and i have never seen a fictional love story as beautiful as jude's and willem's so if you haven't read a little life you have no clue what i'm talking about but you should read that book even if you are a fantasy only reader I would ask you, I would request you, I would beg you to read A Little Life by Hanya Yana Bihara. It is a modern classic. Favorite book, Villain. Oh, then that, that would be Darkling. So I would answer favorite fictional boyfriend would be Castbreaker and favorite book, Villain would be The Darkling. So sorted. Prop number 25, favorite book, Friendship. The friendship in a little life again that book is an epitome of friendship and love and sacrifice and patience and whatnot just go and read that book guys number 26 series trilogies or standalone books series 
series. I, nowadays, I, like, I used to love trilogies, but now I like series a lot more. So, yeah, series is my answer. Prom number 27, Weird Reading Habit. I don't know if this is weird, but I cannot read for a long time just sitting straight like this on a chair or something. I have to lie down. That's my favorite reading position. So that's a habit. Like I just cannot sit at a table and read. Prompt number 28. What's your favorite book adaptation? My favorite book adaptation, Lord of the Rings. I think I have answered the same in my book adaptation tag video that it is the best adaptation out there. Lord of the Rings. Film adaptations or TV adaptations? TV adaptations because then we get many many episodes so the makers do not have to throw away a lot of the material, the actual base material that's the books. So I think it's TV because movies sometimes feel rushed. Maybe if it's a standalone book maybe then it's okay to have a movie adaptation but uh, for a fantasy series or trilogy I would definitely love a TV series adaptation. Prop number 30, what book needs an adaptation? What book? What? Okay, I think I've got the answer. Uh, so there is this new trilogy uh, that I really really love. I have read first two books of the trilogy and yet to read the third book which is the Devabad series by S.H. Chakrabarti. It is so different uh, from the normal Eurocentric fantasy that we get to see. There are a lot of Middle Eastern tradition, culture and folklore uh, which is explored in those books. So I would really love to see how it plays out on screen. Uh, it will be something that we have not seen, you know, Jinn and Devas and you know, all those you know, Arabian folk lore and also the characters they are so 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 good uh, this is a fan art that somebody has done of the main characters Nari Ali and Dara and how awesome is that so I would really love to see something like that being adapted Talk number 31 favorite book world <laughs> I don't know I don't have an answer for that because it's not a question that I thought anybody would ask me ever but if you really ask me to give an answer, that would be the world of Harry Potter. I really loved Hogwarts. I love the library. I love the um, drama that goes around uh, there. It would be fun to be there, I think. So, yeah, that's my answer. What's your favorite writing style? I don't know if there are, you know, specific academic uh, terms for writing styles. I, I'm not aware of them, but if you generally ask me, I when I was growing up, I used to read a lot of uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's books. Uh, so I am attached to those kind of very classic way of uh, British writing. So yeah, that would be my answer. Prompt number 33, what's a book that you love that people don't know about? Uh, there is this book called Toto Chan. Uh, it is a Japanese book. I read the Malayalam version of the book. I read, I have read that book like I, I can't just count. I have read it like a million times. The exact name of the book is Toto Chan, The Little Girl at the Window. Like I said, I read the Malayalam version of the book. It is one of my favorite, favorite book. It is written by Tetsuko Kuroyanagi. She is a, a Japanese television presenter and also UNICEF's Goodwill Ambassador. It is an autobiographical memoir where she is talking about her experiences in this very radical school that she attended as a kid. Yeah, that's a book that I love and adore and not many people know about it. Please go and check it out. It's a very small book, maybe around 230 pages or so. So just check it out. You will love it. And uh, if you are parents, maybe this is a good book recommendation for your kids to read. Prop number 34, what's a popular book that you hated? There is this book called Cloud Atlas. Uh, and I bought that book with so much expectations, but I hated it. I just hated it. I think there is a movie also based on it, but uh, never again, no. Favorite childhood weeds. One is Toto Chan, like I said, and I used to read a lot of Sherlock Holmes, and I used to read a lot of <laughs> Hardy Boys, uh, Bobsy Twins, uh, Enid Blyton books like uh, Secret Seven and Famous Pie and Archie's. So these were my 
favorite childhood go-to books. What's a book that changed your life? That would be called Delusion by Richard Dawkins. Like I said earlier, it played an important role in my journey towards rationalism and skepticism. What book do you, do you hate at school? So here in India, we do not have a system of uh, uh, reading a book as such, you know, for a particular grade. Uh, you will have excerpts from books uh, as chapters and that's what you cover. Or sometimes if you have, a, 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 you know, two papers of a language like English 1, English 2, Malayalam 1, Malayalam 2, Hindi 1, Hindi 2, like that. So then in the second uh, part uh, or English 2nd or Malayalam 2nd, you might have one book. So, uh, and I never hated any of them. Most of the selections uh, by the Kerala State Board were excellent picks. So I don't have any books that I hated while in school. Uh, problem 38, a feel-good book. All of them. I love all of them. I think I do not have any book that do not give me that feeling. Problem 39, a book that makes you cry. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. If you want to know why, read the book. I'm not going to explain it to you. We are at prop number 40. What's your favorite reading snack? I don't snack while reading. Like I said, uh, I love to read while lying down and snacking is not a good idea while <laughs> lying down. So I don't snack. What's your favorite reading question? I just told you, I love to lie down and read. Uh, there is a word for those people who love to read lying down. Libro cubicalorist. So yeah, I am a libro cubicalorist. 42, natural light or lamp light. So because I'm most of the times in my cozy bedroom, lying down and reading uh, and there is not much natural light, most of the times there I like lamp light. Outside or inside? Inside. So I stay in Bangalore, India and uh, even when recording you could hear so much Bangalore noise. So there, were, there are roads on this side of my uh, apartment and that side of my apartment and when we bought this house at that time it was not this busy but population has increased the number of people living in this area has increased so it has become more commercialized so there is a lot of noise all the time outside like you know vehicles passing by honking and um, machines running because the other side of this road there are many uh, small scale industries uh, like garment manufacturing and uh, things like that so there is a lot of machine noise also sometimes so i like to lock myself up in a room where i can get a lot of quiet and concentrate on my reading so inside always breaking the cover or keeping it smooth keeping it smooth i am very very finicky about how well my books are maintained i mean i'm not a savage uh, prop number 45, do you read in other languages? Yes, I do. I read in my mother tongue, Malayalam. There are a lot of wonderful writers in Malayalam and uh, I do read Malayalam in addition to English books that I read. What book series do you want to finish this year? I definitely want to finish Malazan. I want to finish Book of Babel series uh, and I want to finish uh, um, the Gentleman Bastard series and and, 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 and the Devabad trilogy. So, yeah. And uh, for uh, Devabad and Gentleman Bastard, I have only one book left out. No, no, no. Uh, and for the Gentleman Bastards, I have read only one book, so I have two more to go. And for Devabad series, I have one book left. Uh, and uh, for Malazan, I have like <laughs> one and a half book till now. So, yes. And I want to read Wheel of Time. I'm sure it is too ambitious of me or too optimistic of me to say that I want to finish all the 14 books I will not be able to do that I know that so I'm not adding that into uh, this list but how cool that would be if I could finish Wheel of Time by December not gonna happen what book releases are you most excited about right now so out of Kwong the author of the popular series the poppy war series she announced that she is uh, going to very soon release her next book which is babel it's a novel and it will be out in august 2022 
Robin Swift, often by cholera in Canton in 1828, is brought to London by the mysterious Professor Lowell. There he trains for years in Latin, Ancient Greek and Chinese, all in preparation for the day he will enroll in Oxford University's prestigious Royal Institute of Translation, also known as Babel. An act of translation is always an act of betrayal. Babel is the world's center of translation and more importantly of silver working. The art of manifesting the meaning lost in translation through enchanted silver bars to magical effect. Silver working has made the British Empire unparalleled in power and Babel's research in foreign languages serves the empire's quest to colonize everything it encounters. I found the premise very promising and uh, interesting out of the box. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to this particular release. Problem number 48, do you have a favorite book influencer? I have actually many, many, many. I love them all equally. Many booktubers, uh, Sarah from Sarah Reads, uh, and um, Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative, uh, Mike from Mike's Book Reviews, um, Andy Smith, uh, Philip Chase, A.B. Canavan, Andrew from Andrew's Miss Early Reads. Uh, so all of them, I mean, I can't pick one of them. They all are influencing me a lot in my booktube journey and also in my book reading journey because they help me a lot in uh, picking up the right books that I want to read and also at the same time, uh, you know, to be engaged in the book community. So yeah, I can't pick one of them, but these are some of them. Do you have a channel, blog, or social media feed? I do have a channel. This is my channel, which is Bookaholic Brown. And uh, I do have a Bookstagram account, which I have not been too active from the past two weeks. I'm embarrassed about that because, uh, like I told in my previous video, I'm kind of stressed right now, so I'm going to take one thing at a time. So I'm going to concentrate on my booktube and my book reading and uh, put my Bookstagram on hold for a while. But there are interesting, beautiful, uh, eye catching stuff that I put up there. So please do check check it out that is also under the name bookaholic underscore brown name so do check it out the last prompt prompt number 50 finally we reached there which is uh, tag your friends first person that i would like to tag is miss richard sweets that's the name of the channel i would like to uh, just tag miss richard Weeds to this book tag video and then I would like to tag Sarah from Sarah Reads. I hope she picks up this tag and does this. Uh, she has an amazing channel. She is wonderful in her reviews. And uh, yeah, just check out her channel. She is amazing. Uh, then, of course, I want to tag Philip from Philip Chase channel. Uh, I don't even know whether he will watch this, but <laughs> it will be wonderful if he does this tag. And lastly, I would like to tag Kiran from Loob Readers. She's also a small time booktuber like me from India. Please do check out her channel. She has a great channel. So Kiran, if you're watching this, please do this tag. Those were my answers. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and share. And also subscribe to my channel. Until next time, this is Angela signing off. Bye-bye.